What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with more NBA 2K17 My Player featuring Malik Okwagbu. This is actually a series that I was really planning on doing a lot more on this channel. However, there really was not a whole lot of interest in it. And whenever there's not a whole lot of interest in something, I really kind of have to put it a bit on a back burner. But I would still like to get more involved with this series as we move forward. It's something I do have a lot of fun with. It's just more so finding the time. So if you guys have not seen what I did earlier this is pretty much going to be a defensive player on Hall of Fame difficulty so if you guys want to go out there and watch some guys score 30 points get 15 assists and 20 rebounds a game probably not going to happen here at least not for a very long time it is going to be a grindy series where points are very very hard to come by we pretty much want to be a glue guy early on the early on in our career you know play great defense get some rebounds maybe make some good passes something like that and it's going to be a long road to get there again if you have not played this on hall of fame difficulty with a defensive player it takes some time. It just takes some time. That's all I know how to say. But I did want to give you guys a warning early on because I know a lot of people are not patient. They don't like grindy series. And if that's how you are, that's perfectly fine. Probably not the series for you, though. I do like the grind. I like starting from nothing and earning everything we do. And that's what we're looking to do in this series. So it's going to be an uphill battle, uh, but it should be a good time getting there. So where we last left off, Malik Okwebu won the national championship at Georgia Tech. He went on to play for Team USA, and he is currently looking at a lottery draft pick. Now, we don't know where he's going to go. Anything can happen, obviously. It's all up in the air. It is going to be an interesting ride. Uh, because whoever we get drafted by, that's going to shake the course for this entire series. I would like to be loyal to whatever team that drafts me. So this might be our team throughout the remainder of the franchise. But, you know, anything can happen. Let's check it out and see how it goes. Our nickname is going to be Cobra, our secondary nickname. Because that's kind of like a defensive player. We're number 13. It makes sense, unlucky 13. But here we are, June 23rd. It is time for the 2016 NBA draft and again we're projected to go in the lottery but anything could happen there there are some interesting teams that would be fun to play for maybe some that would not be fun to play for going number 10 to the Bucks would be awesome I don't know if that's going to happen we'd also be behind Middleton there nothing changing early on Ben Simmons going number one to the Philadelphia 76ers up next is the LA Lakers let's see what they got 79 overall great athleticism there good playmaking for his size obviously Obviously, good rebounding as well, but really didn't have a lot of success at the college level. Next up, Brandon Ingram from Duke, and obviously under a great coach there with Coach K. Uh, pretty great season, and this is a guy with a ton of potential. Six foot ten there. Uh, looks like they have him at small forward. I know he can play shooting guard as well. A very good shot. Only 19 years old. A bright, bright future here for Brandon Ingram. And up next, we are going over to the Boston Celtics. Let's see if they go Jalen Brown here, and they do a small forward, so another good player, another freshman coming out out of California, six foot seven, known as a defender, kind of, kind of like what we're trying to be. You know, right off the bat, he is going to be an elite defender, but might struggle offensively some, and that's kind of the same path that we're likely to take. Now, Jalen Brown further along than we are at the moment, but it'll still be interesting to compare careers as we move forward. Bender going number four to the Suns here. They would like him to be the next Porzingis. Um, probably not that high of a ceiling, but this is a, another guy with a ton of potential here, and uh, the youth just continues to get drafted. Next up, we have Chris Dunn out of Providence, the junior six foot four athletic point guard there, and no signs of Malik Akwebu yet. It'll be interesting to see if we can make the top 10 here. Number six, Buddy Heald going over to the Pelicans, and he could be a really nice compliment to what they have in Anthony Davis with his perimeter shooting. Number seven, Let's see if it's Jamal Murray, and it is. So, again, a lot of shooting guards coming off the board. Malika Kwebu, not one of them. Now, granted, these guys have a much better offensive game than Malika Kwebu does right now, but defensively, they are not as good. Chris going to the Kings. Obviously, he ends up with the Suns, though. Six foot ten out of Washington. Another guy with a bright future and a good shooter for his size as well. Plenty of athleticism there. Jacob Podol. 
going over to number nine, or is it Yakob Poodle? I forget. I apologize. I think I just butchered his name. 7 1 out of Utah. Uh, really struggling to get off the bench right now there for the Raptors. Thon Maker going number 10 to the Bucks. So that is not going to happen. Malik Akwebu not taken in the top 10. Next up, we have the Orlando Magic, and this could be it. Malik Okwebu is drafted to the Orlando Magic, and to be honest, this is not a very good fit for Malik Okwebu. The Magic are a team with a very good defensive coach in Frank Vogel. They have plenty of good defenders there as it is. Where they really struggle is offensively, and I don't know that Malik Okwebu is going to be that guy to help them out on that side of the court. It's an interesting decision to see the Magic decide to take another defensive player when they really need offense, but that's how it played out, and uh, I like Frank Vogel. Let's go ahead and check out the cutscene. Welcome to the NBA, gentlemen. Can't believe we made it, man. Yep. All right, so practice tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. <laughs> I'm just joking. Enjoy the offseason. <laughs> but get ready to hit it hard in the fall. Uh, we will be. Yo, Prez, we got a jet. Okay. Things to do. Who's this to you guys? Oh, that's my, my agent. Just talking to some shoe companies. Already? Yep. Good stuff, man. Thanks. We crushed it. I appreciate it. When you're hot, you're hot, right? And we'll hit the gym. All right. We're going to have a few loading screens throughout these cuts really quick, but there's about three cutscenes in a row, so I will let it go ahead and take back over. All right. So this is our trainer and your trainer, Xavier Cross. Mr. Cross, it's nice to meet you. Can't wait to work with you. Xavier really is the best, and it's his job to make sure that you're healthy through the whole season, so cool. do not be shy about reaching out to him. 100%. Anything doesn't feel right or you feel off, just call me. Don't be a tough guy about these things. Even if I'm sick, have the flu, something anything, like that? Anything, anything. How do you think Michael Jordan got through his flu game? The trainers were right there. Yeah, see, we got everything covered. So all you need to worry about is putting the ball in the hoop. Well, that's what I do. All right, good. All right, we got more stuff to check All out. Right, see you soon. I'm going to be back because I've got this, you know, the tweak thing I did yeah, to my neck? Yeah, it's chronic. We'll take care of that. It's chronic. That sounds good. All right, let's go. It's fine. Medical term. It'll be fine. See you, coach. All right, trainer seems to be pretty cool. I'm actually kind of excited to play for the Magic. I, I still don't fully understand it, but I am excited to see how this franchise ends up playing with uh, bringing us on board. Anybody wants a piece? I guess the crown is heavy. Anyway, appreciate it, guys. I'll see you soon. Woo. Didn't know I was signing up for an entourage when I got drafted. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's annoying, right? I mean, I wouldn't know, Mr. President. All right, see you around next. All right, buddy. I mean, I can't shake these reporters. Don't worry about that. Keep an eye on your teammates. Those are the guys who will hold you up. Hope so. I know so. All right, man. Dang, Young ain't feeling us early on, but I think we'll have a good friendship. We'll see how it goes. Oh, there he is. There he is. What's up, man? What's up, man? Denver, I just got picked up. Denver, oh, what's up? I heard you were coming through. Nice to meet you, man. Nice I'm, to meet uh, you, man. I'm, I'm, yeah, everybody knows you, man. Prez, President. Prez, yeah. even you know the nickname, huh? It's a catchy name. I guess so. So, yeah. uh, where are you from? Seattle. Denver from Yes, from Seattle. Seattle. <laughs> Good one. Like, everyone hasn't said that one already. Okay, so I just, I, first time nah, I met nah. you. So. With you. What system do you play on? What, what system? Mm hmm any system you want to get beat on, that's the system I play <laughs> Okay, Prez. Listen, bro. This right here, this is you right now. I can see it. This uh -huh. is all you. But 2K, any system, that's Denver. I guess I should have said a few cutscenes. I still don't know. Is Frank Vogel the actual coach? Because I do see him on the bench. But the coach that frequently talks to us is not Frank Vogel. It's, you know, one of their, their guys that they put into the game so they can actually have conversations and stuff. But either way, Frank Vogel is actually one of my favorite coaches in the NBA. I'm thrilled to be playing under him. Again, it's more of a fit issue. I just don't know where we fit with this team right now. It'll be interesting to see how things plan out. But let's go ahead and start practicing, checking out our new practice arena here. 
And I will tell you again, playing on Hall of Fame difficulty, points are difficult to come by. I've run through a bunch of drills with a bunch of different players, and if it involves us shooting at all, probably not going to go well, I'll tell you that right now. And part of it is just that we're, what, 55 overall? Is that what I saw playing on Hall of Fame difficulty? The other part is, maybe I'm just not the best shooter in this game. I don't know. Either way, I'm focusing on other things. But here is Young to take us to another cutscene. <laughs> Somebody left the security detail at home. Told him to take the morning off while I get in early, get some shots up. Mm. What you working on? Working on my jump shot. Nah, but you're not doing anything. Not doing anything. Getting a nice little sweat in. Got up nice and early. Look, I live in the gym. Nah, nah, nah that's not what I mean. When you come in the gym, you gotta be focused. You gotta have a focus when you get in the gym. Yeah, I'm focused on my shot. Nah, but what kind of shot? Are we talking about a mid-range? Are we talking about our three-pointer? Are we talking about our corner three? Are we talking about the post that you love so much? Oh, okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put you through a real workout. All right. Well, lay some up, Justice. <laughs> Lay some up. Are you sure you didn't mean lay some up game? Come on, you should know your own script here. Uh, but anyway, Young gonna teach us how to practice. Apparently, we're trying a three point drill here, <laughs> and there's an air ball. Again, it's it's gonna be a rocky road getting to where we need to be. However, we can get our work meter up a little bit by you know jumping and getting our vertical going. Not a good start though. Only 34.4. Let's see if we can make something happen. Nope. Rip. Gosh, that was terrible. We looked like Al Jefferson on that one. Definitely got to get better. Here we go again, trying to get that work meter going. And that's nearly a 37-inch vertical. Still not at all where, where we would like to be. Um, if we're going to be an elite defender, we got to become an elite level athlete. And we're not there yet. That's just going to take more work and, and so on and so forth. But... We did get a gold. That'll be good. It'll get our work bonus meter full and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and jump into our first game. We did have a few other practices there. I kind of skipped right through that. But um, first up, we have the Miami Heat, a battle of Florida here. And it will be an interesting one to see how Malika Kwebu can adjust to life in the NBA. And again, we're talking about a guy that really doesn't fill the Magic's needs. They have a lot of decent defenders anyway. Maybe not as much on the wing, at least not at the shooting guard position. You know, the shooting guards they have are more scorers right now, so maybe that's why they brought him in. But for a team that struggles to score, a Quagbu was an interesting selection. I am thrilled to be with the Magic. Hopefully we can make something happen. We can eventually become that offensive player they need, but it is going to be a rocky road ahead. So here we go. Game number one and the journey for Malik Okwagbu. A bright future is ahead. It is going to be an interesting career. And let's go ahead and check out what this cutscene is. Yo, Mr. President. What's up, man? Just wanted to catch you before your debut to the nation. You like how I keep dropping those presidential references into the convo? I like that. I mean, you are a writer. <laughs> so, any quotes before the game? Uh, nah, not right now. Huh? All right, laser focused. Yep. I'll jot that down. <laughs> Seriously, man. Good luck. Thanks, Jay. Hey, I'll see you after the game. All right, I'll be here. I'll be watching. You better be. So here we are in Orlando at the Amway Center, and look at those screens. Orlando is excited for a brand new season, and in this instance, they didn't actually trade their first round pick for Ibaka, so, you know, they have that lottery pick to go with Ibaka. A win-win situation, uh, obviously, for the Magic, but it'll be interesting to see if Mr. President can make things happen early on in his career. Really just going to be a defensive stopper early on. David Aldridge is excited for a brand new NBA season. As you can check out the lineups for both teams, Evan Fournier is going to be ahead of a Quagbu in the lineup there. And we are set to tip things off. The season is officially 
underway and here we go it is going to be gathered up by Chris Bosch not out with blood clots and right off the bat they go to white side the heat will take a 2-0 lead early on let's go ahead and advance to Malika Quagbu's first NBA action he will be guarding Tyler Johnson given a decent sized contract from the Miami Heat in the offseason has a lot of athleticism not a lot of size but the Heat have a lot of confidence in his game and his potential as a player this is Dion Waiters getting into the paint going for a shot and he is fouled 14 to 5 though the Magic do have the lead this is DJ Augustine trying to make something happen here he will kick it out and a Quake Boo touches it for the first time in his NBA career down to Aaron Gordon and that will lead to a foul so a nice play by a Quake Boo to set it up but it was mostly Aaron Gordon making the play there a Quake Boo this time to Biombo he is not going to do much from that spot on the court once again Again, a quick move back to Biombo here. And he is going to swing it around. DJ Augustine for three. And that is no good. And an over the back foul away from the ball there on a Quake Boo. Rookie mistakes. A little early season jitters here as he gets back on defense here. 14 to 7 is the score here as a Quagbu and the Magic defense really playing solid early on in this one. A bit of a switch down to Williams on the block against Gordon, and he is not able to get it. Gordon will get the rebound. A Quagbu will lead the break this time. He's going to throw it over to Hazonia, who will sink the jumper, and that is Malika Quagbu's first career NBA assist. 16 to 9 is the score now. The Magic on the run. This is Hazonia out on the perimeter, and he will swing it over to Gordon out to a Quagbu taking it to the basket and he is gonna lose the ball didn't even get the shot up and that is the first turnover there of Malika Quagbu's career the heat unable to convert on the break and the magic on the run again outside to a Quagbu down into the post not a good pass and that is back-to-back -back turnovers by Malika Quagbu the rookie looking like one Johnson gonna get by him over to Bosch that will lead to a foul and a three-point play a horrible chain of events there for Malika Quagbu 16 to 12 is the score now the magic with the ball and this is Justice Young with the ball over to Equagbu. He will draw the foul and with the magic in the bonus Equagbu will go to the line with the chance to get his first career points and the first free throw is good. There you have it. Malik Equagbu is on the board. 17 to 12 is the score. Equagbu again and this one is going to be short left as the Heat take over here. 17 to 14 the four, first quarter winding down over to Johnson and good defense there by Equagbu. That is no good and that'll take us to the end of the first quarter let's go ahead and check out this interview you know it's a humbling feeling to be in the NBA I mean there's a lot of pressure to be great but I got great teammates I got a great coaching staff I got a great support system and all of them are pushing me to achieve my goals so I know it won't come easy but uh if I do know anything I know I'm up for the challenge we are back in the second quarter. Five minutes to go. A Quake Boo taking it to the basket, and that is going to be blocked. He brought the ball down, and that is a recipe for disaster. Clearly not an NBA level athlete quite yet, as that is tapped out of bounds. Over to Augustine now, over to Vucevic, and he will take the jumper. That is good. The Magic on top. 38 to 32 minutes to go before halftime here. Ding up Tyler Johnson once again. They are going to swing it around. This is Williams over to Johnson in the corner and a Quake Boo is all over him. Johnson forced to do something and he will step out of bounds. Malika Quake Boo will force the turnover and the Magic will get the ball back. So it has been a rocky road early on here for Malika Quake Boo. He had those two turnovers, the shot blocked, but here he is making a good defensive play, which is exactly what was expected of McQuaigbu now with the ball. Down to Vucevic. Vucevic trying to make something happen. Over to Levins now. They're swinging it around. Hizonia facing somewhat of a double team. McQuaigbu setting the screen for him. That's a difficult shot. And Hizonia off the rim. It is good. 40-30 to 30 is the score. And a great play by Mario Hizonia there as the Magic coming back up the court. Johnson with the ball. McQuaigbu is there to meet him and again outside of that one play where Bosch had the three-point play at Quagbu very solid on defense and the Heat are not getting anything there either the Magic trying to add to their lead down into the paint Vucevic is up and that is 
is no good. The rebound, not good either. A missed opportunity for an assist there. A good read, though, by Malik Akwebu to get him the ball down low. He was just unable to convert over on the left side. This is Abaka for three, and he is unable to make it as well. And that is going to be it. Malika Kwebu subbed out at about that point. Didn't really get any time in the fourth quarter or the third quarter, the second half at all, really. But the Magic will get their first win of the year. Malika Kwebu, not a great game. One point, one rebound, one assist. He did have those two turnovers, but he played excellent defense in his limited minutes. Did not get scored on. He did let Johnson get by him on a play that dumped it off to Bosch for a three-point play other than that though he was really solid good game out there just thanks for watching the nba presented by 2k sports let's go get another one all right prez we got to talk shoes let's talk shoes yeah all right we've had preliminary conversations mm -hmm. but now it's time to make a choice you know we got to figure out what we're going to do where we're going to go all right so am i going to get my own shoe of course you're gonna get your own shoe. I mean, you're the prez. We'll get you like the presidential suite or something. I don't know, I'd rather weigh my options. See what's out there. Okay, all right. Hey, options are open. Just, you know, gotta make a choice. You know what I was thinking about, man, was just going to social media. Once the options come in, see what we're working with, post it online. I'm the president after all, okay. public servant. Gotta see what the people wanna do. Okay. Democracy, constitution. I like that. I like that. You got a lot of momentum going right now, so we can use that as leverage, you know? We can use it as like... Bruce, man, I'm lucky to even be on the team, all right? If it happens, hey, then... Hey, 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 it's when it happens, because it's happening. I mean, things are going on right now. Like, as we speak, it's happening. Like, as we sit here, right, it's boom, it's happening. Did you feel that? Because I felt something. What was that? My phone ringing? Because bam, it's happening. All right, it's happening. So, hey, show me the menu, show me some options, and we'll go from there. All right. All right, you're humble. I like that. I can sell that. So I'll go out and I'll get all the details and uh, I'll bring you back the best options. Sounds good. Hey, you know what sounds better? Pennies in the piggy bank, am I right? Pennies in the piggy bank, Boom. Bigs, Bucks, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, guys, we are over at the Attribute Upgrade screen, and this is going to be our friend early on in this series, really throughout the entire series, but let's go ahead and get his agility up a little bit. That is going to be it for the first episode, though, of his actual NBA career, I should say. We did have the prelude there as well, but thank you guys so much for watching. I do need to get better with calling an NBA game. It's something I've never really practiced before, so please be patient with me as I learn the ropes of how to call the games but I do think this will be a fun series and it is something I would like to actually feature more on my channel hopefully we can get more interest in it we'll just kind of see what happens if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button it really does help me out a lot and I will see you guys next time later